KRQE News 13 at 5.30. Good evening. The city of Albuquerque has been trying to slow down drivers along lead and coal for years now. Now they have a new idea, a first-of-its-kind smart stoplight. News 13's Brady Wakayama is live near Coal and Girard with the tales. Brady. City Councilor Pat Davis says lead and coal, the lead and coal corridor sees far too many crashes that could have been prevented if people are driving the speed limits. And Davis is optimistic these new smart lights will make a difference. Would be a first for New Mexico. It's what's called rest on red. So instead of the light being green when you're approaching, the light's red on every approach. If you're going the speed limit or under, it turns green and lets you go. If you're speeding, you stop. After three years, the city has finally finished its feasibility report for implementing those rest on red traffic lights. The 55 page report shows that there have been dozens of crashes along the lead and coal corridor over the past five years, and that drivers are taking advantage of the corridor's two lanes and straightaways to speed. The city implemented time traffic lights a few years ago to coincide with the 30 miles an hour speed limit throughout the corridor. But Davis believes that's just encouraging some drivers to speed. Speed even more to beat the light. Davis says the rest on red traffic lights will essentially force people to drive the speed limit. I spoke with neighbors who want a change to be made, but don't know if the new lights will be effective. I would support it simply because it's an easy thing to do and it's definitely going to have some impact, but I think further action definitely needs to be taken. It was bad before, it's worse now, and people, this is Albuquerque, New Mexico. I was born here. People want to race up and down these streets. They're going to race up and down these streets. Davis says he secured $300,000 for the project from state and city funds. And that will allow them to install the lights in six intersections along the lead and coal corridor. Back to you. All right, Brady, thank you. Davis says they hope to get the lights up and running in the next couple of months. You can read that feasibility report on our website. Just go to alwaysonkrqe.com.